G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. And let me tell you, my friends, have I got a juicy store for you. searching high and low for a good aquarium uh, store here stocking a good amount of frags been to a couple of stores but they had literally a little two foot tank stacked with some brown coral um, and I just didn't bother wasting my time to to film it but I have found a place called Coral Aquatic just in one of these little back streets here um, in Tokyo just uh, in Shinju uh, outside of Shinjuku um, a small small store I barely fit inside but it is absolutely stacked with some amazing, amazing, amazing coral. So let's jump inside and I'll do some camera adjustments. There we go. So the shop literally has two rows, wall to wall, full of corals and products. We've got one, two, three, four tanks on my left here, one tank on my right that houses the larger uh, colonies, uh, which uh, Vlad did tell me he is in the process of updating uh, and getting rid of a lot of this stock that's sitting on the shelves here and uh, putting some new tanks in now. These frag systems over here are probably some of the best frag systems that I've ever seen. Certainly the coral inside is absolutely incredible and it does and, and, and this shop just proves that you don't need an, a, an incredibly large site to have some amazing coral. So if we go up towards the front here, we got uh, the LPS and Goniaporia and Zoas here um, with uh, their own custom designed frag racks which sort of just angles it towards the front. So when you're looking, it looks uh, a lot more presentable. All of his tanks are lit up by Kessels uh, with the 360s and the new 360X on some of the tanks. I believe underneath here, they are all uh, a 80s as well so um, huge emphasis on Kessel shop entirely lit up by that and a couple of hydras out the back too I believe um, but just going back to the Gonies Duncans obviously that's something we see that's pretty run of the mill the, the Zoas obviously are something that we do see quite regularly as well as well the uh, Acan frags is where it starts to get a little bit more exciting with some really nice color and all of the coral here are extremely healthy there is not one that looks uh, unwell or is bleaching or sick or dying none of them have been stung so these systems have absolutely been maintained immaculately and you can see with the coral and how amazing their colors are um, that they definitely put in a lot of effort into making sure that the tanks uh, run properly. So we got those tanks there, um, a really beautiful rainbow echinata um, that I am absolutely salivating over and I wish we could have something like that back home in Australia. Um, wait till you see these rainbow chalices. So this tank over here, it's got the uh, plating Montes, uh, rainbow chalices, um, and just a huge variety of different chalices and 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 as you can see they are absolutely amazing some of these larger pieces that are on the larger tiles even the ones that are over on the right hand side here the colors are absolutely insane and uh the 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 super rainbow chalices or ultra rainbow chalices whatever you call them uh they aren't for sale uh they are actually just uh holding on to them and trying to cultivate them uh and frag them consistently so they would get uh so they get some more stock they did say that if they were to sell that a little frag about the size of a 20 cent coin would be in excess of a thousand US dollars. So we're talking some real money for these corals. And where did you say the chalices uh, came from again, Vlad? Which country were they? Indonesia? Indonesia. Indonesia. So they've come in from Indonesia. Um, I wish we had this stuff at home, right? Um, again, lit up with some uh, kessels here as well. Um, I didn't ask Vlad about nutrients, but I'll have a chat to him about that as well. But um, even some of these uh, these Montes over here, they are just absolutely popping and popping with colour. Um, 
as well here tanks are absolutely spotless clean which seems to be a very typical japanese style of running their cranes just super duper ultra clean heaps of flow uh, this tank here has got some uh, favia and i think leptoceras uh, all frags uh, with the max spec gyre over there um, just to get the undercurrent underneath the tank um, and then we walk towards out the back here there's there's four display tanks uh, and when i say display they are still frag tanks uh, we got a uh, looks like an all-in-one tank uh, a couple of just all-in-ones over there as well and the token red sea tank all full of frags this little ada 30 centimeter cube here is just to sort of show um, that you can still have a little tank with some really popping frags in there. Uh, just run with another Kessel A80 and a little uh, hang on the back protein skimmer. And that looks like a little j -Bow, uh wave puck of some sort on there. Um, just providing some flow. Uh, got some uh, Aussie gold stem torches in this little tank next to it. As well as some hammers, screen star polyps. Uh, so the displays are still frag tank displays. Uh, if we have a look at the back here, you got a little uh, fragging station as well as sink and cleaning up area at the back there. Um, a few products on the shelf here, heavy emphasis on uh, uh, Red Sea products uh, with some Marine Pure, uh, Biomedia, lots of foam boxes because obviously the coral gets packed into foam boxes. Huge sump down the bottom here with just a stack of live rock just to obviously maintain the, the nutrient balance down there. But Let's have a look at their life support systems on their tanks and see what they run. So you can see coral systems here in the sump are very, very basic. Just a really, really uh, well-tuned skimmer. Obviously, you can see plenty of skim made in the collection cup there. And just a stack of live rock uh, for the nitrifying bacteria. j bow return pump. Um, and it's exactly the same over on this tank here. Uh, and he, Vlad did mention pop the screen out so Vlad mentioned it is dosing calcium alkalinity magnesium in the Red Sea range uh, coral nutrition A and B every single day um, and then topping up with iodine potassium iron and bioactive elements uh, as needed tests his water every single day uh, every single tank and nutrients are nearly at zero or at zero it's at zero or yeah. nearly nearly at zero. nearly at zero so super super low uh, nutrients in the tank um, and as you can see the coral colors are absolutely still popping and I wish this was a store we had locally that we could visit but at the same time I'm glad that it isn't because my bank account would be absolutely zero if this was a local store but I hope you guys enjoyed this little store I've really enjoyed visiting this store and checking out their frags um, and the coral collection that they have but don't forget if you like this video please subscribe like share leave a comment and until next time guys peace